Nowadays, almost every flagship smartphone is capable of running the most demanding mobile games. But still, phone makers have decided to deliver more improvement for an immersive gaming experience. Their screens are bigger and brighter than ever and also offer a higher refresh rate to ensure a smoother visual. If you're a hardcore mobile gamer or a streamer, then you definitely don't want to go without the best gaming phone. Even some of the PC games are available as a mobile version that you can play on your phone. This is where Nubia plan to deliver the smartphone that's only focused on gaming. They even come with built-in RGBs, cooling fans and many more to give you a complete gaming vibe. Recently, Nubia unveiled the latest gaming smartphone called Red Magic 7 and today, we're going to compare it with one-year-old Red Magic 6 to see if it's worthy enough to upgrade. So, without further ado, let's get started. Starting with the design, both gaming phones come with a glass front, back and aluminum frame to ensure perfect durability. But, the Red Magic 7 features a more transparent design by completely encircling the backplate with diaphanous material and glass, which gives some aesthetic vibe matching the power of this device. Both phones also come with a built-in cooling fan to prevent them from getting overheated. But the new one, which is the Red Magic 7, offers an RGB light on the cooling fan to make it more like a gaming phone. However, this fan is also part of the ICE 8.0 cooling system whereas Red Magic 6 is the 6.0 version. Besides, these two gaming phones also come with pro shoulder triggers to improve your mobile gaming experience which can be customized based on your comfort. When it's all about gaming, the fastest refresh rate is a much more important thing you need. And both Red Magic 6 and 7 offer up to 165Hz of refresh rates on a 6.8-inch AMOLED display. Though most mobile games don't even hit the 144Hz refresh rate yet, they're still offering up to 165Hz. Who knows, this might come in handy in the near future. They also come with an ultra-responsive touch sampling rate of up to 500Hz touch response for the smoothest gaming experience. So we can say, in display design, there isn't much difference between them. As a gaming phone, we do not expect a high-end quality camera from them because it mainly focuses on gaming performance. And we are guessing you do realize the same way that we do. The camera does a decent job of capturing a sharp and detailed picture. Both come with a 64 megapixel main camera and 8 megapixel front camera. While comparing these two devices, performance is the most important thing to look for. And the Red Magic 7 comes with Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, which gives outstanding performance and a stable frame rate while playing your favorite games at high graphics. On the other hand, the Red Magic 6 is equipped with the Snapdragon 888, which is also a marvelous processor that delivers some amazing performance, but not like the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. For example, Genshin Impact is a pretty popular game on mobile, and on Red Magic 7, you'll get constant 60fps while putting everything on maximum setting. Whereas, you might experience some FPS drop while playing it on Red Magic 6. In terms of RAM and storage, the Red Magic 7 offers up to 18GB of RAM and up to 512GB of storage, whereas Red Magic 6 offers 12GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. Both offer more than enough RAM and storage that we need for gaming, which is great for people who love to multitask. And for those hardcore gamers who might need to stream the gameplay for a longer period of time, surely they need a huge battery backup. The Red Magic 7 comes with a 45,000mAh battery with a 65W GAN charger and surprisingly, the charger comes in a box. On the other side, the Red Magic 6 offers a 50-50mAh battery capacity which is bigger than the Red Magic 7. All being said, for us, we don't see that much difference between Red Magic 7 and Red Magic 6. Design is slightly improved in Red Magic 7, but there's nothing noticeable in the display. About the performance, Red Magic 7 does better than 6 which is only because of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor, but we cannot say Red Magic 6 is doing bad, since it's also doing a great job till now. So what do you think? Do you want to buy Red Magic 7 for a better gaming experience? Let us know in the comment below. Thanks for watching our video. Like, comment and share with your friends if you find this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.